Welcome everyone. Thank you for joining us for today's CITI program webinar. Today's topic is new data sharing requirements for NIH funded research. And it is presented by Dr. Ibrahim Ali. All right, so let's just jump right into our learning objectives for, um, for our session. Um, so first, um, by the end of the session, by the webinar, you should be able to uh, first identify key requirements uh, in the NIH data management and sharing policy. Um, next, uh, you should be able to summarize the components of an NIH data management and sharing plan, which I will often refer to as DMSP. Uh, you will also be able to recognize key considerations when working with human subjects research data. Uh, and then finally, uh, identify steps to prepare your research group and institution for the policy. Um, okay, so as we jump into this, I'm going to start us off with five things that you need to know, just like the five critical pieces. So first, um, as of January 25th, 2023, a data management and sharing plan, or DMSP, must be submitted with each NIH grant proposal or grant renewal for research that generates scientific data. I'm going to go into the definition of scientific data shortly. DMSPs must articulate a plan and a budget for managing and sharing data collected as part of the grant. DMSPs will be reviewed by NIH staff. Um, the plans themselves will not be reviewed by grant referees. However, uh, grant referees can comment on budget allocations to say whether or not they may be appropriate. Um, Data must be shared as soon as possible and no later than the time of publication or the end of the award, uh, whichever comes first. We'll talk a little bit more about that as well. Um, and then finally, uh, DMSPs are going to be considered terms and conditions of the grant. So compliance to those plans is expected and will be monitored by the NIH at regular intervals. In closing, I also invite everyone to review our content offerings regularly as we are continually adding new courses and webinars in various areas of research, ethics, compliance, and professional development.